what's up everybody <laughs> so guys i'm so excited because i finally recovered this account on my youtube channel so because i've been wanting to recover it for the very longest time that way i can upload again and stuff like that and i finally recovered it um i was posting on this other different channel that i um what's it called that i created because i was like okay well since this channel doesn't work anymore like i can't get to it you know i'm uh, might as well just make a new one and just start uploading well i have two videos up on that channel uploaded and i can put the link for you guys um so you guys can go watch them because i tried to move those videos to this youtube channel and i can't so you, if you guys are interested you guys can go watch um those videos um they're basically baby videos um it's um a bedside nursery video um it's a what's in my diaper bag video and a um i forget this other one but as you guys know or don't know i am a mother of two now you guys um and it's pretty crazy i have a baby girl her name is isabella and she's so cute and beautiful she's a month old now so um she's still in that newborn stage um i kind of just got up from bed as you guys can tell i'm just still in bed to be honest um i need to clean up all this mess i have diapers everywhere i have babas everywhere bottles um, so I need to get this room together, go wash some bottles, all that stuff, get my life together, go shower, blah, 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 all that stuff. But I wanted to let you guys know that I am back to this channel and I'm so, so, so excited, guys. I'm going to be uploading a lot more here, like mukbangs, cooking videos, mom videos, vlogs, maybe haul videos, day in the life videos, things like that, you know, some i'm very excited if you guys have been subscribed since um i don't know since like i did this channel um and you guys came back to this video comment down below um something I i'm curious to know like i'm very curious um i'm sorry that i didn't upload for like the very longest time this freaking hair is like bothering me <laughs> you guys i need to go shower and stuff um but yeah i need to um but yeah, you guys, I'm sorry that it took me forever to recover this account. But, you know, life just gets hectic, to be honest. Like, my life got hectic and busy and all that stuff that I didn't even really think about, like, uploading or whatever. So, um, but I'm back, you guys. I've always had um, my YouTube channel in my mind or whatever, but I never really took the time to, like... And you know what it was? It wasn't more like me didn't want to want to because i love recording or whatever but it was more so like um oh, i don't know the password i don't know the password to that account or blah blah you know that's what it was and and you know recovering passwords and stuff like that could be a pain in the ass um but guys cheers i don't have starbucks this morning but I do have a Celsius. You guys, Celsius is so good. I discovered Celsius about a year ago um, because I was like, Red Bulls, because I was drinking so much Red Bulls. And I was like, okay, Red Bulls are so bad for you, you know? I was like, and I was feeling weird, to be honest, as well. Like, my body, like, something was telling me, like, stop drinking Red Bulls. Like, they're bad for you. Um, and so, like literally hold on guys i need this thing and so like literally um i stopped drinking them and i went to 7 7-eleven one time and i came across those and i was like um i'm gonna drink i'm gonna try one you know it's like so i got one i opened it up, opened it up and boom i was like oh my god they're so good not to mention like everything that it says that yeah so literally it's um essential energy accelerates metabolism and burns body fat the burning body fat part is pretty interesting um but i'm like all right i'll show i'm with it um and it has zero sugar it's a 12 ounce one um 
It has no artificial colors, no aspartame something, no high fructose corn syrup, whatever that is. <laughs> but girl, it has vitamins too. I didn't even notice that. But you guys, it's some good stuff, I hope, you know. Um, this one here is the orange one. Um, I also like the guava and kiwi one, the lemon, the lemon, um, lemonade one, the strawberry lemonade one. That one's really good as well. There's like a lot of flavors, guys, like a lot. And I'm so excited because they're like my favorite energy drink. And they're very, very delicious. But anyways, guys, um, yeah, you guys. So I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. But if you're new to this channel, y'all, like if you guys just came in and like saw this video post and you're like, I'm gonna click on this ugly girl right here. <laughs> just kidding. Well, I look crazy right now. So it's okay if you if you if you said that about me. <laughs> but anyways, um let me know if you guys just came today, like you know, just because, <laughs> you know, and if you want to stick around, y'all, like, stick around, honey boo, because I'm going to be on here more often. I love, I love recording and stuff like that. Oh, my gosh, my freaking hair, y'all. Um, and, yeah, guys, um, and maybe later I'll show you guys baby girl. She's so sweet. She's so cute. She's on the swing right now, so that's why she's not here with me right now, but, Anyways, I'm so excited. So excited to be back, y'all. But if you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe and comment and like this video and share it and everything, girl. Because I am back. And guys, it's currently lunchtime, and I got ordered some pizza because we don't have food right now. And I ordered two of these from Pizza Hut. They're medium, and oh hell no! So supposedly they're seven dollars each. Um, and the tax and the delivery fee and all that stuff, it came out to be twenty-eight something, girl. So almost. 30 bucks for two medium pizzas and I'm like oh hell no this is why we stick to little Caesars y'all because it's expensive but that is crazy two of these mediums almost 30 bucks like, girl no thank you but it is what it is that's what we had for lunch though but it's expensive because <laughs> I was like a week early for my induction date um because my induction day was december 8th and that day was december i mean excuse me november 28th um and so i had a whole week i wasn't i wasn't scheduled to be at the hospital to have a baby until um a week from that day on a friday at 2 p.m so i was like no we are not having this baby tonight no <laughs> hello guys welcome back to my channel guys so excuse me um this video as you guys know by the title of the video is my birth story video of little my little sweet bella here isabella but i call her bella because <laughs> it's just shorter and easier and i don't know it just goes with the flow girl but my mom's like you need to call her isabella her full name or else everybody's gonna call her bella and it's true <laughs> but this is my sweet girl right here she's chilling with mommy it's about to be time for her to eat um 
so she is one month old guys and i will show you guys her face um in a minute but um she is one month old now literally one month she was born november 29th of 2023 my due date was actually december 15th but then they changed it to december 8th um just because i guess the doctors didn't want me to have complications with her and stuff like that since i did have a um uh my first pregnancy my first baby um not make it and um he died in my belly at five months pregnant and so that's why they were kind of worried and like they didn't want to risk it or whatever which it doesn't really make sense because with my daughter denise um i have another daughter those of you guys that don't know um she's on this channel she's i've been i posted her in a, in a few other videos but she's naya now and when i was pregnant of her they never told me that they were like worried or whatever you know but now i think i know why because i think they seen that little isabella here um she was more tiny than um than you know expected or whatever um and she was very tiny she was born full term literally um but she was born five pounds four ounces so super tiny little baby um and now i believe i don't know i'm you know i don't know because i haven't gone to her other appointment she does have a m one month appointment coming up real soon so then right there they'll weigh her but i'm pretty sure i'm guessing she's about six pounds now if i'm not mistaken because she is a little heavier she looks a little bigger a little chunkier i was actually looking at her legs yesterday and they're a little bit chunkier than when she was first born um so yay i'm so happy for her but she's doing great she's a great baby she doesn't cry she's so strong look at look at her head that's all her <laughs> And she's been doing that since she was born. It's not even like a thing that's barely happening. Right, my left? But anyways, um, here, put your, yeah, there you go. So she's so sweet, guys. But anyways, she's a good baby. She doesn't cry unless she's hungry or she um, has a diaper, uh, needs to change her diaper. Like right now, she's getting fussy because she's a bus to eat, guys. So, I might have to pause this video and come back. But, let's let's get to it. So, this is my birth story, y'all. So, um, like I said, I already told you guys when I was doing all, blah, 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 all that stuff. So, on November 28th, on November 28th, I was feeling really weird. Like, like all day I was feeling weird. And then, like, during, like, when I was making dinner and all that stuff, I was feeling really weird. Like... I don't know, just weird. I can't really explain how I was feeling, but I was feeling overly tired, weird, like, you know, my pregnancy, and, like, just me, I don't know, just weird, you know? I remember I had some beef with some rice that day, and I ate it fine. It was oh. fun. Yeah, my legs. You want to eat your babas? Huh? Oh, my goodness. I think she wants to eat y'all's. You wanna eat, Mama? Let me get her a bottle, and um, we will continue. Kind of crying, but at that point, I will. I felt like I peed myself. Not even kidding. Oops, sorry guys. But yeah, I felt like I felt like I was like I peed myself, and um, what's it called? I literally told him like. I don't like something something's happening that's what I told him I think and he's like whoa, 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 whoa you know and then I was like wait hold on like for me I was I was very nervous and shocked that everything was happening you know especially because I was a week early that like my my because they they had they had me already a day on the December the 8th for um induction like I was gonna get induced for labor that day at 2 p.m um so i was like no we still have a whole week like no this baby cannot come right now we have one more week left like no we're not having baby right now <laughs> that's what i was thinking 
and then um uh so i was like wait hold on like hold on like I i'm wet that's what i told him i'm wet and he's like he's like what do you mean and i was like he's like karen your water just broke let's go and i was like i was like you don't know that you know that's what i told him i was like you don't know that and so then i i got up from bed and like well first of all i was wet i felt wet and then when i got up from bed like like more water came out and i was like in my head i kind of knew that my water broke and stuff because i knew that feeling with my first daughter but i didn't really want to accept it i really didn't want to accept it. i'm like that hard-headed person i did not want to accept the fact that the baby was coming a week earlier <laughs> than than my scheduled time you know and i was like no no we have one more week this is this this is not it the, i think i just peed like and so then i went to the i was like I, t I told my husband let me go to the bathroom and i'm gonna see let me go to the bathroom real quick and so i went to the bathroom i sat on the toilet i peed just a tiny bit and then after i peed more water came out and right there I was in my head i I I already knew that was my water breaking. But again, I still didn't want to accept it. It's crazy. Ugh, I hate myself. <laughs> and so then I came, I I told in the bathroom I told my husband I was like more water came out like and he's like, "Yes, it's your water. Your water just broke. Like we got to go. Let me go warm up the car. I'm going to put everything in the car cuz I already had my diaper bag and everything ready." So he's like, "I'm going to go take everything to the car and I'm going to come back for you." like let's go and i was like no wait let me call the doctor let me call the 24-hour nurse line <laughs> and he's like oh my gosh go ahead then you know because he knows i'm hard headed so i called and um the nurse um talked to me and stuff super sweet lady and so i told her everything that i'm telling you guys basically and she's like um she's like yeah i mean it sounds like your water just broke like come on in like you love like we need to see you you know we need to see if everything's okay blah blah and i was like oh my gosh are you serious and she's and i was like wait do i take my stuff like to have the baby and she's like yes like go ahead and bring everything already like yeah and i was like oh my gosh like in my head i was like oh my god are you serious like i still have a week left and she's like Oh, she's like, oh, it's okay, hon. Your baby's already full term. Like, the, the the baby's already ready to come out. And I was like, oh, my gosh, in my head. <laughs> and so I was like, all right, thank you. We're on our way. And she's like, okay, we'll see you when you get here, blah, 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 you know? And then I hung up and I called my mom right away. And I told my mom's like, she's like, all right, then hurry up. <laughs> um, Come bring Denise over here. And then um, I can go with you guys with with you guys um to the hospital and so and so yeah that's literally what happened we like once that happened i literally put on some leggings put my um my slippers on a sweater and i like left <laughs> like quick we left here so quick after that it was crazy um and then, like, I was feeling a little bit of pressure on the car drive. And I was telling Jerry, like, like, ow, watch out for bumps. <laughs> I was, like, kind of pissed. I was, like, watch out for bumps. Like, what are you doing? Like, why are you driving like that? And I'm sure if you guys are were pregnant or, or you know, you guys know that we get cranky and stuff with everything. So I was literally, like, oh, my gosh, just get me to the hospital. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> And he's like, I'm trying to go as fast as I can. And and I was like, oh, my God. Like, I feel wetness coming out. Oh, one thing, too, it's weird because when I went to the bathroom, I literally touched down there. I forgot to tell you guys. When I went to the bathroom the second time, um, after I talked to the doctor, I already knew I was on my way. I went, I sat myself again. And I touched down there. And I felt weird like it was weird i felt something really squishy really gooey it was weird and i was like no way and i freaked out and i told jerry um sorry my husband i was like i think i was like i think something's coming out of me i was like something is coming out of me let's go now 
and he's like let's go let's go like you know i was freaking out i literally thought like either an umbilical cord was coming out or even the baby or something but honestly no not the baby i was i thought an umbilical cord was coming out because it was like squishy and i know that's a thing it does happen and it's very dangerous and so i started freaking out and then oh so once i got there to the er or whatever not the er but the entrance to you know for women pregnant women the two nurses came out with the wheelchair for me um and they said like are you okay like are you feeling symptoms blah blah and i was like um well i feel something squishy down there like coming out of me and so they're very worried <laughs> after i said that so they rushed me in there they rushed me into a room they got me naked right away and then they opened me up you know my legs and then they checked and the nurse is like what squishy part are you talking about and i was like i don't know i just felt a squishy part like i felt something squishy down there and she's like you're you're fine there's nothing coming out of you um you are dilated she said you are dilated i think i was two or three centimeters dilated when i got to the hospital she's like you are dilated but there's nothing coming out of you you scared us she said <laughs> she said you really really scared us because that's actually very dangerous um and i was like oh my god i'm so sorry then what was that squishy part that i felt and she said i forgot what she said but oh my god I, was, I, I freaked out i freaked them out and i freaked the whole world out <laughs> with that little story of mine but i'm gonna be honest i did feel that it was weird but anyways so then i got there blah blah they put me in a little robe and then they took me upstairs to a room and that's when they connected me up blah blah, blah to get ready to hear the baby's heartbeat and all that stuff um and then like Mm, I don't know a couple minutes I started feeling contractions and stuff um like I think I felt contractions like halfway through labor and I'm not too sure but I think I was in labor for a couple hours so I'm gonna say like 12 15 hours to be honest excuse me and half of the time I wasn't on medication or like, I wasn't on the epidural yet. I was actually taking the contractions. Um, I I like to take the contra my contractions as long as I can, as long as I can handle them before I ask for the epidural. Um, and so I did, and I was doing great and stuff um, with them. But then, like, you know, if you guys have gone through labor, you guys know how painful they can get. Um, but I was doing very good um, overall. Like, I was breathing through them and keeping calm and all this stuff, you know? Um, one thing that was happening, though, with baby, not me with baby, is she was um, she was getting stressed when I was having contract contractions. So every time I was having contractions, um, the baby's heart will go down. And the doctor said that she was very stressed and her heart rate was going down like down and then up and down and up and that was happening for a like for a while during my labor and it was very scary and i was praying about it and but the doctors were keeping a very close eye on that and all of that stuff you know but it was very very scary because you guys know when you're connected you can hear the baby's heartbeat and I actually i could i could hear the baby's heart rate going down and it was just very very scary to hear that um but but um yeah that's what was that that's then i think the worstest part from the labor was knowing that baby was stressed through the contractions and her heart rate was going down that was the scariest part for me at least and um but anyways halfway through my lab contractions i had to ask for the um for the what's it called i had to ask for the epidural sorry <laughs> i'm like what the heck what the heck is it called yeah i had to ask for the epidural um because like i was like i'm tired i'm in pain i just want to relax like you know and so i asked for it 
they came to put it on and let me tell you something one thing about me is i will be honest with y'all i am terrified of epidurals terrified of them like honestly going through labor versus epidural for me epidural is the scariest like i'm not even kidding like oh it's scary to me and it's painful if you're a woman that says oh that's not painful girl shout out to you girl for real because for me it's so painful i hate it i hate the feeling oh i hate that shocking feeling and oh, i just hate it girl and then you know when you're going through con when you're going through contractions hold on guys you want more babas my loves huh? you want more babas you didn't give me a burpee or did you i don't think she did no okay so so yeah guys um i know so anyways guys so then um after after that i mean excuse me the the epidural y'all i'm losing track here so having contractions and getting your epidural at the same time it's for me it's the worst because you're in pain like horrible pain and you have to stay still you can't freaking move and oh it's just it's just horrible you guys know that they make you sign a waiver because it's that serious like if you move you get paralyzed for life all that stuff you know so it's very very scary you know but um like i was literally like like okay like because they put like it's a whole process to do it you know and, and you don't know what's going on back there you know versus them getting ready to do stuff or you know getting stuff ready so i was literally telling my nurse like please let me know when you guys are about to put the thing don't don't just put it in like please let me know that way i can be prepared and at that point like i couldn't really even talk because i was already in pain they're like don't worry hun. like we'll let you know before anything happens we'll, we'll walk you through step by step i'm like you better <laughs> like you better girl <laughs> what they did they were so nice and i'm so thankful for all of them but anyways so um so yeah when they put it in or whatever I, well i don't know if you guys know but it's like a stingy like it's a it actually the new the needle it's so small so so small it the the straw thing is huge but the needle that goes in you is super small um but when it goes in like you feel this like for me at least it feels like a sh like a shocking pain and it's very very cold and it like shocks you kind of at least that at least that's how i um um that's how i think it feels like if you think otherwise let me know in the comments how you think the epidural feels but yeah i hate it but once it's in you girl oof, y'all know it's heaven like literally i know heaven's better but it feels it's amazing it's a huge relief then you get to chill and you get to probably sleep a little bit and all of that but honestly I, I had the epidural and I was still feeling contractions. I'm not even going to lie. And I was pr pressing the button and, and all that to get medicine in. But I was still feeling them. So I was like, okay, whatever. But not as much as I was. So that's good. But anyways. um. So yeah, after that, guys. After I put the epidural, I think I'll say maybe four hours or whatever um i i literally felt i don't know i just felt weird like i felt like baby was coming like i felt something like you know when you're pregnant your baby is in you you know what the heck you're feeling and all that you know so and not even doctors know what you're feeling you know you know what you're feeling and so i literally called the doctors and i was like can you guys please come because I feel like it's time like I I don't know why I feel this way but I feel like it's time and they're like, yeah yeah we're coming we're coming so they came in right away they checked me and stuff and then they were like they're like oh my god like I feel the head you are 10 centimeters dilated and I was like are you serious and at that point you guys and I hope I don't cry in this freaking video but 
at that when she said that I was like shut the fuck up like oh shut up like I'm about to meet this little human that has that has been in me for like nine months you know and like I have been wanting to get pregnant for for a long time because you guys know my first daughter is nine years old so it's been a whole decade since i got pregnant stuff so i was literally like shut up i'm about to meet this baby like it's time like i'm about to see this little baby girl um like what i'm about to be a mom to this little baby no way like she literally said yes are you ready you know i couldn't even talk i was just like nodding and saying like you know i was i couldn't talk guys i'm not even kidding and so i was like um yeah like you know and then um she's like oh my god like i feel the head oh my god let's do this are you ready are you ready to push and i was like oh my gosh what and so i called um my husband right away he was there but he was on the other side of the curtain and so I called him and I was like, hey, like, they said it's time. I'm 10 centimeters dilated. They feel the baby's head already. And he's like, well, let's do it. Let's do it. And I was like, oh, my gosh, what in the world is happening? And so, you know, I I opened up or whatever my legs. And they were like, all right, let's do the first push. I did the first push. And they were like, good job, Ella, you know. And, and then literally the second push that I did, boom, she was out. <laughs> And then oh, they put this little sweet child on me. And she was so sweet. So, so sweet, my lovers. <laughs> She's awake. But, oh, my gosh, guys, like, it was it was beautiful. I'm not even going to lie. It was, it was a very beautiful um, labor. I'm going to be honest. It really was. Um, and now I have little Miss Bella here. My mama's. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you guys, um that was my birth story. I hope that you guys enjoyed. It was really fun making this video. Um like I'm not kidding. Giving birth is the most beautiful thing a woman can go through and being pregnant as well. Um it's just very 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 rewarding very special it's a beautiful thing yes it's hard very hard but it's also very beautiful like super beautiful and now i have this sweet child <laughs> so i'm about to show you guys miss isabella and like i said guys she's a month old now um so she's a little bit bigger than when she was born right my loves <laughs> she's like mom be quiet <laughs> she's about to nap but here she is guys my little baby girl where am i love uh oh there's my baby <laughs> oh my goodness and she's so sweet, guys. Look at me. There she is. <laughs> That's my little Bella girl. Yeah, that's my Bella girl. And she barely has hair, guys. But, um, you know, she has a little bit. But my first daughter, she had a full thing of hair. And my second daughter, Isabella, has barely any hair. Um, but I think she gets that from her father. <laughs> and I think Denise, my first daughter, got it, got it from me. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that is my baby girl. Um, if you guys like this video, like it, comment, share it. Um, and if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe, girl. Um, because I'm going to be doing more videos. But yeah, guys. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this little birth um, story video that I went through. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.